My name is Aleona Isakova. I was born in Georgia. It's ex-Soviet Union. I grew up in communist family and never hear about anything about God or Jesus. And I can tell you, I, I felt in my heart, deep in my heart, very empty and hopeless. I always create um, designs and drawing. My first art show, solo art show, uh, was happened when I was just 14, uh, th uh, 13 years old girl, and I participate uh, very big fashion contest when I was 24 and become the winner. It's a company, French company, Nina Ricci, made it in uh, Moscow and invited more than 1,500 young designers to participate. It was amazing when the 15 of us say win and I was invited to, uh, to one company to to build together a company with my name, Aleona Isakova. It's, it was like all dreams become true, but problem was I don't feel happiness inside my heart. In that year I met Christian people. It was the first conference, young Christian um, uh, from all the country came together in Moscow and I was invited by accident by one guy, hippie, uh, to, to that conference. I interested spiritual stuff and I was interested in some books about Christianity and I came to that, because I hear first time about that, and I came to that conference in Moscow and I saw something incredible. It was thousand young people, very bad dressed, with very bad style hair, <laughs> not fashionable at all, but they have beauty by God on their faces. I saw that by my eyes and I was so attracted. I look at that and I think at what I look at all my life, this kind of beauty, something real. And God touched my heart and I opened my heart and that emptiness was full of joy and peace. I began smiling. I was so proud person before that. I never, I smiling a little bit, but in that moment I began smiling all the time. It, it was a problem because it was painful a little bit for my muscles for first months. And my husband, my dear husband here, I uh, think I've become the crazy. And talking with my best friend by phone, maybe they find good mental doctor for me because something happened with his wife. Because I, I was so happy and I, I smile and I wake up early morning and I just praise God and worship in Him. And then I, I, I recognize I cannot continue my business because my fashion was very very, very spoiled. My design wasn't clean. I recognized from my spirit very easily that. And I think I cannot have anything with fashion again because it is really, really bad area, spoiled area. And I came to these people who invest a lot of money to my own name. Later I recognized it was mafia people but in that moment, I don't know what I do. And I just came there to serious guys sitting in the huge table. And I came, it was my first preaching. I share about Jesus and say, I cannot continue to do fashion again. It was interesting. They don't, I signed contract and I broke contract and they spent money, but they just tell me, go away. And I, go outside free to create what I want to do. And I, in that moment, I think I never will back, back to fashion industry. But in one year, oh, what's happened with us? My husband, after one month and a lot of miracles, he became Christian also. 
and all friends around us. It was revival time. In months, we have hundreds around us. And we even doesn't know what's happened. We, we just shared Jesus. We read Bible together. And we was like early Christians, really. <laughs> Experience that. And it was awesome time. And I'm very pleased for American missionary who visited Moscow in that moment and help us and teach us a lot. And we did a lot of conference. And on one conference for pastors, because my, hus my husband became the pastor of this new congregation, they born by accident, <laughs> just because God made it. And in that conference, when the preacher preached his message, God touched my heart incredibly. And I saw a vision. It was a full story about how God created world, how Jesus was born, his commitments, his crucifixion and resurrection, all story, Genesis and Matthew, all Bible story for the fashion. I saw that by my own eyes. It was like film. And I cannot move for 40 minutes when they, he preached. And after that, I recognized I must do that. But what I have? I have nothing. No company, no fabric, no money, only my brushes and paper and colors. You know, a lot of Christians have calling from God, but they're waiting, something must happen. But when you make your step, God will make your step. And our step could be very little, but God can make his back step. And I take my brushes and my colors and I paint sketches what I saw. I spent one month to do that and Holy Spirit presence was so awesome at that time. God was in our place. It was incredible. I drew that sketches and then together with my best friend we sit in and pray and we start a fashion company. It was a crazy time in Russia, in Soviet Union. All country was corrupt. All with, with even food was problem. We have little tickets that you can take that and have some bread, some salt. It was crazy time for started fashion company in that moment because it all was broken. But we do that because we God call us to do that. And I have a lot of stories, but God made miracles in our life. And and he gave me a possibility to create that collection from the best fabric on the planet. And we make it, we spend more than half million dollars for that. He take me, nobody, from poor Russian city to create that for his glory and display that in the highest places on the planet, in, in London, in Jerusalem, in Australia, in Moscow, in, and glorify his name. But when I, when, when I moved to America, I really feel, feel in my heart, I want to multiply that. I want to see new designers. When I had the show last time in London, I was sad because it was again my show. I look in the round and think, so many young people come to me and look at me and, and try to ask me where we can study from you. But I feel it's time to raise up new generation designers who can create beauty in freedom of Jesus. Beauty by God, it is a vision to catch the best talented young designers, fashion designers, artists, and inspire them, support them to create Inspired by Bible. And we use like tool that can test. We compare through internet young talented designer and the winners participate uh, fashion weeks in the best cities in the world and they create collection and, and my desire to support them and give them power to create with God. Mm -hmm.